Court is now in session. Prosecution, please state your case. We believe that Mikhail Lenikov should be deported from Canada back to Russia based on the fact that he was a part of the KGB, and we believe that is a possible threat to our country. Under Canadian immigration law, anyone who is a part of an organization involved in espionage against a democratic gov government is not allowed to stay in Canada. Mikhail Lenikov should be deported from Canada and is a threat to our nation. We also- OBJECTION! <laughs> Order in the court! Defendant, please state your case. Thank you, Your Honor. We believe that Mikhail Lenikov is most definitely not a threat to Canada, and although he worked for the KGB, he was only a translator for Japanese business businessmen. That occupation should not be considered a threat to Canada or its citizens. Mikhail only worked for the KGB because you could simply not say no to Communist Party officials unless you wanted to be suspected an enemy of the state. He was dragged into the organization. It's unfair to believe that he is a threat and he should be allowed to become a Canadian citizen and he has the necessary documentation to successfully immigrate. Prosecution has the floor. We would like to call Mikhail Lenikov to the stand for questioning. Mikhail, could you please come to the stand? Where is he? Mikhail! 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 Mikhail? Mikhail! Where were you, Mikhail? Yeah, we have some questions for you. First question is, why did you join the KGB and did you benefit? I had no choice and also my family benefited financially, politically and socially from my services to the government. I found a way out within five years. That is clear proof that I was not a willing participant. Okay, thank you. And just one more question. Do you consider yourself a refugee? Of course, and that is another reason I think you should let me stay in Canada. I'm scared to go back to Russia because I'm currently considered a traitor to Russian officials. Defendant, we would like to hear your last remark. Yes. Under the Refugee Act, it states that a person in need of protection in a person in Canada whose removal of their home country or country where they normally live would subject them personally to danger to, or of torture, a risk of their life, or a risk of cruel and unusual treatment or punishment. I believe that Mikhail fits into all those categories as the Russian government considers him a traitor. Thank you. Prosecution would like to hear your last remarks. We believe that Mikhail Lenikov should be deported back to Russia. It is a huge national security threat if he remains in Canada. He is a former Russian Secret Service agent. There is no reason for us to believe that he would like to be a Canadian citizen with no strings attached to him. It would be benefit Canada if Mikhail Lenikov leaves our country. Jerry, could you please come to a consensus? So, I think you should stay. I think you should go. But Maybe he should stay because he was forced to join the KGB. Well, yeah. well no, I do guess you're right, but yeah, he should stay. You sure? Yeah. I thought you wanted to leave. I did, but then you. Okay, so Sally's gonna stay. Yeah, he's stay. He's stay. I believe Mikhail should be able to immigrate here because he has a university degree and could get a good job and contribute to our economy. I believe that Mikhail should stay because. His home country considers him a traitor and they can treat him with like punishment or whatever and yeah, he should be able to stay in Canada. I agree. I grant Mikhail citizenship in 